Alright yo, how's it going everyone, York here. Welcome back to another Beastorm Simulator video. And in this video, I have one goal, and that goal is to get unlimited capacity. Or in other words, I'm gonna get as much capacity as humanly possible inside the test realm. So yeah, I have a specific plan on how to get as much capacity as possible in the test realm. So first of all, I'm gonna have to reset my account. Oh, that banned me. No. Ever since I got banned, I've lost all my stuff, but I can get it right back. So let's get buffs, I get all this cool stuff. Get B-Quips. I'm gonna need a few B equips specifically for extra capacity, so let's get all B eggs and auto claim badges, which I hate doing, but on it's made it incredibly fast. Wow, now I have every badge in B Swarm. So, yeah, what I'm gonna do is quite simple. So, the first step is just to get the best tools. The best backpack in the game right now is Coconut Canister. But maybe by the time you're watching, on it actually added a new backpack. Tell me in the comments what the best backpack is when you're watching. Oh, and if you enjoy, drop a like too, I guess. These videos do take a lot of time to make. My Mona Lisa painting inside my hive is done, so now I can go ahead and access the top shop and also convert the 2.1 trillion pull inside my backpack. I'm not sure how I got that. Already breaking the game by accident. I'm not gonna use anything from the top shop except the hive slots. This is the only thing I care about, so let's quickly max out my hive in two seconds. Something that people spend years playing for. I've been within three minutes of joining the game. But yeah, what I need now is 35 bees, so I can access the 35 bee area. I'm just quickly going to get the Tide Popper because it looks so ridiculous. A porcelain gamer with a Tide Popper. You don't see that every day. So yeah, let's cop the Petal Belt, the best belt in the game. When is Coconut Belt coming out? I'm waiting. And now I have to kill the Coconut Crab for the Coconut Canister. That is the only thing I care about. Oh, and I'm almost dead, bruh. Wait, I forgot to level up my bees. They're all level 0. Okay. All my bees are instantly level 20, which is kind of pogger if you ask me. And now killing a crab should be a lot easier. It's a little complicated when all your bees are level 0. Wow, some people kill it in one second. It took me a whole 5 minutes. Well, 1 minute, but... The yeah, coconut clocks, coconut canister. Very cool stuff. Now that I have the best backpack in Bee Swarm, it's time to become a blue hive. So let's start with event bees. Obviously you're gonna need Windy Bee, Tabby Bee, every hive needs Tab Tab. Puppy Bee, and the reason I'm gonna need Puppy Bee is actually for capacity, and I'm gonna explain how. Photon never hurts anyone, pretty much getting every single bee there is inside a bee swarm inside of here. Yeah, I've got all the event bees that I need. Now for a few buoyant bees, obviously gonna need those for balloons, and balloons grant extra capacity, so it's a win-win for me. And on top of that, I'm gonna need a lot more tadpoles. The reason I need this many tadpoles is for bubbles, we all love bubbles. What the hell is that? What is this creature? Whoever gave birth to this creature deserves a refund. Hope there's a 30 day free returns period for that pregnancy. Now we need a few music bees. Music bees are always good for any hive color, so make sure you have that. Diamond bee, of course. And now we need all the bees that give me capacity. And some genius on this old video told me I need all this stuff, so I'm gonna be using his comment for reference. A lot of Beastworm players are actually better than me at the game, even though I've been playing for 5 years of my life. It's kind of surprising how much people care about B games sometimes. And now, I believe, i finished my blue hive. So what I can do now is just step on this button again, and every single bee becomes gifted, which saves a lot of time. I would not want to use a star tree on every single one of those bees. Even though I didn't get the best gear, I'm gonna do that later. I just want good amulets, man. Last time I used Popstar Gummy Star, but now I'm gonna use Popstar Shower. This give me an extra 1.25 capacity, which you know it's kind of important for this video, considering I want to go to the moon with my unlimited capacity. This one's decent, it could be better, but whatever. The Supreme Call Amulet is also kind of important, it gives me extra capacity and maybe even blue pollen. This seems like a good amulet, plus 300k capacity. And yeah, I've got the best amulets in the game, Pogger. Only took me like 12 minutes to play time to become an endgame player inside of Beast Swarm. I think that's a world record. Now it's time to get the rest of my gear. Yes, first of all, it's called the Bubble Mask for the passive. It actually carries on to the Diamond Mask if you didn't know, so... The ability from Bubble Mask is on Diamond Mask. It's kind of cool. Am I the only one that becomes Spider-Man when going up to Gummy Bee and just does this? It's such an easy way to save time, you can just scale up the wall. Just me? Okay. Let's see, let's cop the Gummy Boots. Gummy Baller, not today. Even though I can afford it. I like my Tide Popper. Very important, let's get the Diamond Mask and it's daytime. Well, good thing I have 100,000 Night Bells. Just use one and parkour up here. And now let's cough the best guards inside the game. Let's go. And I believe that is it. I'm finally the best hive and setup I can be. I have the best gear. I have the best hive. I think I do at least. Now it's time to step inside a blue field. How much capacity do I have? 
I have 2.6 billion. Wait, I forgot something. Beequips. I mentioned them at the start of the video, so... Wait, Sprinkler. I forgot Sprinkler. How am I gonna regrow my flowers that I'm nuking? This field is pretty much leveled, so... We do need the Sprinkler. Oh, Snowflakes also give me times 1.25 capacity. Someone's already using them, but I can contribute. What else gives me capacity? Okay, so Nectar Tester. This thing gives me 5 of each Nectar, which is kind of useful if you ask me. I wouldn't want to grind out every single planner. I wouldn't want to grind planners for 5 days just for this video. Marshmallow Bee gives me 50% capacity. And Super Smoothie. So with this, I have 4.8 billion capacity. I'd say that's a lot, but it's going to become a lot more. If you've never been to Blue Hive and Bee Swarm, you probably don't know what Bubble Bloat is, but pretty much, it gives you up to times 6 capacity if you're a Blue Hive. I'm going to show you. Yeah, so this pop star I got right here. Every single bubble I pop, I get extra capacity. It's kind of useful. I mean, not kind of useful. It's the only reason blue hives exist. It's so good, on it had to nerf it. But pretty much, this thing stacks up to 6x. And I have to get this thing up to 6 times, so it might take a while, so bear with me. The Beast Swarm Gaming process is a long one. Just with this one pop star alone, I nearly doubled my capacity. Another thing I'm gonna do is balloons. So balloons also give you a bunch of capacity, and by a bunch, I mean a crap ton. So let's fill these bad boys up, they can fly to my hive, and I can convert them. Or pop them. I guess that's how you convert balloons. You literally just blow them up. I don't think I've used enough marshmallow bees, I just gotta flex the fact that I have 999,000. Just a tiny bit more, maybe I'm beating people by a couple hundred thousand, but that's it. And I'm already filling up with 8 billion capacity, that is somehow happening. It's been a few minutes, so let's go ahead and check up on my balloon. I already see it wobbling there. I mean, it's not terrible. Times 40. Oh, never mind. Times 42. It just grew. Let's see how much more capacity I get from this. So right now, I have 3.349 billion. So times 42. This gives me times 2.26 capacity. And also honey at hive, which I don't really care about. I got 10 trillion honey. I can work without it. But yeah, how much capacity inside this field? Bro, 22 billion. That is insane. Wow. Well, I was not expecting that, I'll be honest. I mean, I kind of was. I do know balloons are incredibly overpowered. At least now, maybe I won't fill up as fast. This might take a bit of grinding, so I'll get back to you guys if I get any more capacity. I'm kind of losing capacity by the second because the bubble blow is deflating, but I'm going to get it back a lot faster. That's a promise. Hey, no one I said puppies ranked your antlers give me extra capacity. I wasn't lying. This makes the biggest difference in the world. <laughs> And it lasts for a whole 15 minutes, so I don't have to worry about it expiring. Puppy Bee is officially the best bee in Bee Swarm, because it gives you extra capacity. And I think we're about to get 3x Bubble Bloat, so... Almost halfway there, and over halfway there. Pogger. So slay, dude. Progressing through the game so quickly. I thought this was gonna take me 5 hours to get 6x Bubble Bloat, but it might not. It might be, it might not. It might, it might not, I don't know, but... Probably gonna take a little less than 5 hours. And so far, we have 35 billion capacity, which is good progress. I'm just gonna do the only thing that I really care about and get more capacity. Let's check on the balloon that I have at my hive. It's probably kind of thick. Oh yeah, that is pretty thick. Wow, 500 billion. Damn. That's a lot. I mean, to be fair, that's not even that much. I've gotten bigger balloons inside the main game. Not even the test realm. And it's done converting. I went from like 7 billion capacity to 9.2, and let's see how thick my capacity is inside the field. Bruh, 42 billion. Okay, that is pretty hacking thick. Honeybee's honey hunt is done. Let's go. Whenever I'm going to be converting the very thick balloons, I'm going to need that. Speaking of balloons, I should probably fill these up because I'm still working on getting that 100x balloon. At the end of this, I'm going to use a black balloon, which actually stores 25x my capacity. So if I have like 100 billion capacity, it's going to store 2.5 trillion pollen, which is absolutely insane. And we're also going to do a small donation of 50,000 purple potions to the wind shrine to hopefully get me pine tree. I really need the pine tree winds. I fill up way too fast. And yeah, here's the purple potion that has the best chance to give you blue hive winds. I mean blue field winds, not blue hive winds. Let's just hope this is enough to please the beast swarm gods. 49,030 purple potions. Let's go pine tree. And you know what else I forgot? The Mondo Gift Box, which gives me the Honey Day event. Honey Day is pretty cool. Gives me times to pollen and times to convert rate. Which should definitely help on filling up the balloons. And 5x Bubble Bloat. Let's go, dude. What is that? 69 billion capacity. Absolutely beautiful number. I'm hoping by the end of this video I can get over 100 billion. Because that's pretty close to infinity. It's crazy I think that some people in this world have more money than I do capacity. And I have 69 billion capacity. As Vitamin would say, that's crazy. 
After this pops or pops like the US economy, I'm gonna convert my balloon and it popped. Great depression out here. Let's go ahead and convert my balloon. How thick is it? Is it over 1 trillion? Maybe, hopefully. 1.4 trillion, I mean 1.5 trillion. It's rising, just like inflation. Wait, I forgot to claim my honeybee quest. I actually, I actually did it for the sole purpose of this video. It took me like two minutes while grinding in the field, so multitasking. Honeybee, hello. Thank you for the times you convert rate. And while I was gone, the balloon rose to 1.8 trillion. Can we get a 5 trillion balloon by the end of this? I'm hoping I can get a 5 trillion balloon by the end of this video. You know what I should do? I should probably get some more point bees for more balloons. We went from 8 point bees to 18, so let's make all of that gifted. Perfect. And I have 12 billion capacity just by default by not standing in the field. Let's see how that increases. Bruh, 97 just from the balloon. 73x balloon blessing. Crazy. And I, still, and I can still level up my bubble blow a little bit. We max out the bubble bloat. Let's go. And 102 billion capacity. That is insane, dude. How you can do this inside the test realm. I also got the test realm mega boost, which is probably one of the only reasons this is possible because of the 10x capacity. That helps out greatly. It's probably the biggest factor contributing to this. Oh, well, my fuel boost ran out. And my super smoothie is about to run out. So yeah, I've been grinding for a while. I've been recording this video for like an hour now, and I think it's finally time I pop the black balloon. Let's see how thick this thing is. Oh my gosh, 2.55 trillion. That is nuts, dude. That is the biggest, that is probably the biggest balloon I've ever seen inside a bee swarm. See, so yeah, let's pop the festive bean. I gotta fill all of this up, and I don't have too much time before these balloons deflate. I mean, considering I've already got like 300 billion pollen inside of here, 250, close enough. Probably won't be as difficult as I think it will be. Let's pop the other two balloons, the red and white. Now I have every single type of balloon in this field. Pink, red, white, black, golden, blue. It's a rainbow up in here. Rainbow and pine tree. I think I'll max out pretty much everything I possibly can on 102 billion capacity. So the only thing that's going to increase my capacity from here is my balloon. So let's get going on the balloon size, boys. I'm getting like 50 billion. I'm getting so much honey and pollen right now. This is nuts. Probably one of the best boosts I've ever done is a blue hive. I mean, it's a test realm. I'm wasting so many resources, but this is still fun regardless. Okay, black balloon is done filling up. Has 2.55 trillion. One single balloon that is black holds 2.55 trillion pollen inside of it. That's a lot. Probably more than the earth has ever used. Anyway, I think I better start converting, so let's just leave the field. Last time I'll be seeing pine tree. Well, second to last. Black balloon is right there. My red and white balloons are here. Bro, 87x. So I have to wait to convert this thing because I don't want to deflate it. Okay, so it is at 6.1 trillion capacity. Black Balloon, can you please hurry up? This thing just deflated 200 billion pollen. That is nuts. Keep saying it's nuts, but come on, guys. It's really nuts. Okay, Black Balloon, fly in here. Oh my gosh, 8.2 trillion pollen. 97x Balloon. Kind of sad it's not 100x, but whatever. Close enough, right? What's my current one? 73. So I'm increasing my balloon from 73 to 97x. What is that? Only 400 billion pollen per second. Only. Can we get to 500 billion honey per second? Oh, I think we did. Let's go. You know what I'm gonna say? Only 500 billion honey per second. That's not even that much. I mean, for a blue hive, I guess that's okay. And I'm already up on the leaderboard. I don't think I'm making 170 trillion from this boost like the number one guy, but at least I secured my number three spot. Maybe even number two by the time this is done. And we're about to finish converting this thing. Let's go. It's done. 97x. Wow. So let's check my capacity inside the field. Right now I have 15 billion base capacity. And inside the field I have... Bro! 124 billion. For a second I thought I said 250 billion. So that bro was the 250 billion. But still, 124 billion capacity. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I guess let's get boosting, boys. It's not done yet. I have all this capacity for a reason, right? And I forgot to get my honeybees honey hunt. I probably could have made like 1 trillion honey per second if I actually turned it in while converting. Such a noob I am. And I cannot actually fill up my backpack because I have the instant version from the Festa Blessing. For once, I hate Festa Bean. Usually, I'm in love with Festa Bean, but now I do not need it. What a fun video this has been. We have ended at 125 billion capacity. I think that beat my previous record by a lot. My previous record is 65 billion, so I got over double of what I previously had. That is wild. Best Beast Swarm player out here? For real, for real. I forgot my old intro, dude. 
or my intro in general. So yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. This video did take a long time to make, so I really do appreciate it. And yeah, tell me in the comments how much capacity you have, because I have a feeling I'm beating a lot of people's capacity records by a couple hundred billion, because no way anyone has more capacity than me. I'm the number one capacity god inside of B-game. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.